On the federal carbon tax, uh, it's not just the Conservatives who are calling for a pause. Premier Fury in Newfoundland has asked for pause again today and asked for an emergency meeting to discuss alternatives to carbon tax. Will you hold such a meeting um, and are you concerned the consensus, consensus you built uh, on the carbon tax is falling apart? First of all, let's be clear about what's happening right now. The price on pollution is increasing along with the Canada carbon rebate. We are effective in putting a price on pollution that is driving down emissions and leading the way not just in protecting the environment uh, for the future, but on sparking the kinds of innovation and, and uh, upgrades that companies and individuals are doing to their homes, to their businesses, so that we can be both better for the environment and more competitive. This is the kind of leadership that Canada is showing and has shown over the past eight years as people around the world look to our success at transforming our economy to be uh, less carbon emitting. We have a big plan on fighting climate change, but the price on pollution is a full third of that plan that makes a huge impact. But at the same time, we know that if we're putting a price on pollution, the, pr the cost cannot land on ordinary families across the country, which is why we're delivering a Canada carbon rebate that puts more money back in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadian families across the country in regions where the federal bar backstop applies to help with affordability. So we are both fighting climate change in one of the most efficient ways possible and putting more money back in people's pockets with checks that arrive four times a year. The next Canada carbon rebate check is arriving on April 15th. So it's money in people's pockets while we continue stepping up in the fight against climate change. That's what we're doing. Now, Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives are actually getting in the way of delivering the doubling of the rural top-up across the country. We committed to double the rural top-up top up for the Canada Carbon Rebate from 10 to 20 percent, but that's being blocked by the Conservatives who are preventing money from getting in the pockets of Canadians right across the country who need that money with the cost of groceries, with the cost of living going up right across the board. So anything that Pierre Polyev and the Conservatives are talking about, worried about affordability or worried about climate change, is simply false because they're blocking climate action and they're blocking money in people's pockets. And from the very beginning, we said that this is a federal backstop. We need the entire country to reach a similar level of stringency, of ambition in fighting against climate change, both because we need everyone to do their part, but also because it has to be fair right across the country. Wouldn't be fair for one region to have to pay more than a different region, which is why we brought in a federal backstop. A number of provinces said, no, we're going to do our own system or keep up with our own system. British Columbia, Quebec, even the Northwest Territories have their own approach to pricing pollution, which is just fine. Every other province has the opportunity, if they want, to create a system that is equivalent to what BC, what Quebec, and what the federal backstop is. Every province has had many opportunities to do that. And we're always open to work with them on a way that will put a price on pollution, will uh, support families, but mostly will reach the same level of ambition of everywhere, across, everywhere else across the country. So all those premiers that are busy complaining about the price on pollution, but not putting forward a concrete alternative that they think would be better for their communities, are just playing politics. Every province has the opportunity to put forward its own plan as long as they are fighting climate change to the same level that we're asking all other Canadians to do. That's what a federal backstop is. But we're not seeing detailed plans from the premiers on this. They'd much rather try to complain about it and make political hay out of this. But Canadians know we need to fight climate change. And we need to be supporting people with more money in their pockets. That's what the federal backstop does. That's what the Canada carbon rebate that's landing in people's uh, bank accounts as of April 15th is going to help them with. And that's a Canada carbon rebate, money in people's pockets, 
that conservative politicians want to take away.